What's going on guys, Steven here. We are at Level Up and I have the pleasure of speaking to the one, the only, Greg Sipes. How's it going, man? What up, Level Up, what up, what up, everybody out there in TV land. Uh, I am dog blessed, truly. Vegas is amazing. I've always loved Vegas, but now like after this experience, I love it even more and I look forward to coming back again and again and again, truly. Man. It's got such, a, such an energy. like. Like no other place on earth, truly. And I think it's more special than it's ever been. And one of the reasons why? The freedom that exists here. I love the freedom. Yes. 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 That is the truth. Bro. Yeah. I just moved out here, actually. So it's kind of one of the, it, it makes me happy to, to be here and be able to speak to you, especially since, you know, You've been a part of my childhood for a while, and a lot of other people's childhoods as, as well, as an, an incredible voice actor. And what can you tell me, like, what got you really into it? I started off as a prank caller. I'm a jokester. You know, I, I just always want to have fun, even in school. I wouldn't do my homework. I would cheat. Just because I, I just wanted to have fun. I didn't want to do stuff I didn't care about. I mean, the stuff I cared about, I would do really well, like surfing or acting or making music. I started and I wasn't good in the beginning of these things, but then I got good because I cared about it. So I only do things I care about and I love and stuff I didn't care about, like math, stuff yeah. like that. I, did, <laughs> I, would sit in, I would sit in my classroom and like fall asleep or I'd sit there and I'd sign my name a million times, I swear. Not knowing that, fast forward, I get paid to do it. <laughs> One of life's great, like, life. yeah, like that's the way it should be. Live life doing what you love to do. And that way you don't I like to. I literally get paid to sign my name. <laughs> and that's all I did in math class. I, I'm not making that up. I would sign my name a thousand times over and I'd be like, and then fall asleep and I'd wake up and just work on my signature because it felt good. Yeah. Nothing other than it felt good to like sign my name. The future self, your future self already telling you, it like, was. It's this is what you should need to be doing. Yeah, working on your signature because you're going to sign hundreds of thousands of signatures and here we are. Th a couple thousand added to it this weekend <laughs> in Vegas. What a blessing. Man. How many times have you been out here to Vegas? I've worked out here in the past on TV shows like uh, my MTV show called 24-7. We did an episode here and um, I've been here quite a few times for other events and it's always been cool but this one is this one's done it for me I'm like it's so close to LA and I and I feel like it's like a shot of city energy that you can't get anywhere else other than New York and this is much closer than New York yeah. and it's not New York it's its own thing I've always said that Vegas should be called the city that never sleeps because it just it just doesn't I know New York does go to sleep at a certain time but Vegas we're always going constantly yeah and there's something to that if you look at like, when I say freedom, that that's what humans are actually like. Like we're not all the same. We're not all on the same, you know, clock. Personally, I don't even exist in a clock. Yeah. I'm a nowist. But like, when the freedom exists, then people who like to stay up all night have a a place that's fun to do that, and it's supportive of that. And there's food, and there's energy, and things to do. And and some people that don't want that are up during the day. But in, in general, like. The beauty of this place is because of the diversity and the freedom that exists. And I love that. It doesn't sleep here like no other place. See, that's why I wanted to come out here, because that's what I felt when I first got out here, you know? It's energizing. Mm -hmm. I'm a very energy-based person, so I feel exactly what you're saying when it comes to that. Like, I left my other jobs that, you know, I don't like working in, in regular businesses. This is what I like doing, like coming here, experiencing life, the way that I want to experience it, talk to people that I want to talk to, and just like hang out and just meet amazing and beautiful people. And I think that's one of the great things about what you do because you get a chance to do that all the time. I'm so grateful and I've chosen that for myself. You have to give up things you don't want to get the things you want every time. There's actually no way around it. That's a science. Mm -hmm. And speaking of science, my main mission on planet Earth is not only to make entertainment that shifts consciousness into a higher level of love, and awareness, but creating a foundation that saves every dog and cat and eventually all animals on earth, but it starts with serving dog. It's called the science of dog consciousness. 
the pure you can serve dog, the pure the universe serves you. And literally, it's a science. If you get a dog, you start to learn how to serve them, take care of them, make sure they're happy, fed, in ecstasy, and, and love, and safe, and supported. Pay attention to them, and the universe will do the same for you. So for me, it's much easier to love a dog purely than a human. But what they do is teach me how to love humans purely, because I can learn how to love dogs purely. Yeah. They're the nectar of the universe. All the greatest qualities in the universe are in them. Patience, compassion, loyalty, beauty, innocence, rascality, on and on and on. The greatest gift you could ever give yourself is going to adopt a dog or a cat. Dog's number one, though. Do you have like a website that people can go to to help out with what you're doing or to, to study? And when I say dog's number one, I'm not saying cats are not number two. I'm just saying dogs are the easiest way to reach God consciousness, which is dog consciousness, in my opinion. Um, just Greg Sipes. Everywhere. My foundation that I'm starting right now is called the Wingman G Foundation. International Foundation. <laughs> All my socials in the next few months will be directly steered towards doing this full force. Where what we're going to do is, and we're already doing it, the donations and the, the proceeds of his comic books and his toys and in general, all the money that is made um, that comes from the organization goes to f paying for adoption fees for people who need uh, help paying for the adoption fee fee fees, paying for the dog's food, and then eventually the next phase is paying a human to take care of the dog. So your job is to take care of a dog, to serve them your, a dog correctly. And then you're talking about a, a heavenly earth that we'd all be living on, living in. If, if you could choose a job that, that basically you're getting paid to take care of a dog correctly, that's the best job ever. <laughs> and the, it is. So I want that for everybody because I feel like that's what I do. And the universe takes care of me the same way I take care of my wingman who's sleeping right here next to me. What's your wingman's name? Wingman G. He goes by Buddha or Guru G as well. Yo, I love that you're such an environmentalist and you're such an animal lover because, man, there's so many things that we see out there, people not taking care of their pets, leaving pets in, you know, in cars for some reason, and just, I don't understand what the, what's wrong with that. Like, people are just... Well, here's the deal. What's wrong with it is if you look at your life, you'll see something as is wrong with your life if you're doing that. It's actually connected. So yes. if you're somebody that does that, don't question like why things are going wrong in your life. It's because you're not serving dog <laughs> with all your heart yeah. and awareness <laughs> and correctness. And the cool thing about dog is they, they forgive you instantly. So I'm not perfect, but he is. Dogs are. I'm not perfect, but they are. So they're here to teach us. So don't. We all mess up. I, I mess up all the time. But again, I'm not perfect, but they are. And one of the first relationships that we read about too is dog is is wolf and man. And I've like, there's many stories about that as well that, that's out there. Yes. And it, it shows that there's a deeper connection. There's always been a deeper connection there for you to learn more about yourself through, through dogs. I do every day, every moment. And I'm a better human being because of it. And I think that's the, you know, the, the main thing is before you leave your body on this planet Earth, make it a little more lovable, more loving. And dogs are allowing me to really, truly do that in the most authentic way enjoyable way possible do you do you need uh, a, an audiobook or something man because first off your voice is calming it's all hell <laughs> this is the honest truth and secondly you have so much information to, to, to share out there that you're already doing but I feel like there's you know with other platforms you can give even more are you maybe thinking about doing something like that Absolutely. All of my socials, all the Greg Sipes, everything is literally going to be steered towards making, giving more and doing this every day and making myself available for people to ask me questions and do it mobily. I don't leave Venice Beach. That's where I live. Other than for special events like this, I don't leave Venice. I got rid of my car. I walk everywhere. I'm surrounded by dogs everywhere. It's called Dogtown and I live in Dogtown, USA. That's pretty awesome. That is awesome, man. It's synchronicity. Yeah. Well, Greg, I don't want to take any more of your time up, but I appreciate 
you talking with me, giving this information out to everybody. And now the world knows you even more. And man, I really appreciate that. You are an incredible human being. And guys, look up Greg Sipes. Everything is there. It's gonna be in the description of this video, of course. You already know who he is. You know how to see him. You love your animations. You know his voice. Just, you know, be there and be more aware. Thank you, Greg. You're a great interviewer. Thank you. Dog bless you all. Later, guys.